So welcome everyone. Um, super happy today. We have me um, good friends online, also good friends here with us attending in person our our lecture. So um, today we are going to um, reflect together on the chapter 15 of the book Living in Spring, um, written by Chico Xavier um, and Emmanuel. And the chapter is called, uh, it's for, it's called Frater Fraternity. Okay. Before we jump into the, the chapter, just want to, to remind everyone who we are. We are the Chico Xavier Learning Center in Portland. Um, in our website, you will be, be able to find, I mean, all the information about all the information about who we are, how we operate here in Portland, uh, and, and, and more content about the, the spirit spiritism movement and, and, and more information about our, our program. Okay. Uh, we are um, an organization with no um, um, with no kind of funds, so we we really um, work with donation, and, and it's the way also we operate. And also in our website, there are also um, ways on how how everyone can support our our work, our the work we do here in Portland. Um, and then uh, we cannot forget that in a month from now, less than a month from now, September 30th, uh, we are having the, um, the Spiritism, the US, the United States Spiritism Symposium here in Portland. Uh, and this year we'll be studying, talking and discussing about mental, mental balance. So we'll be in September. We still have um, uh, people can still uh, enroll. You just go to the site and then you their website and you will be able to see um, the programmatic uh, content and also how how to draw. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, and then this is kind of a big step for us in, in Portland since it's the first time we'll be hosting such, such an event. Okay. So this is a little bit about uh, who we, we are and inviting everyone to, to take part in, in, the, in our symposium and, and be with us to discuss such an important topic uh, that it's a mental balance. Okay, so in order for us to prepare for, our, for the message that we received today and we will discuss, I want to invite everyone to close um, and close your eyes. Find some peace in your mind. Breathe <clears throat> in and out a couple of times. Slowly in and out. Connecting with the space you are. Feeling your body. Feeling the energy that surround you, that surround us in this room or in your home, whenever you are. Let's elevate our, our thinking, our thoughts to God, our Father. Let's connect our hearts with our older brother, Jesus. And thank them to allow us to be here. All of us incarnated and disincarnated. Being here at this moment in this planet. Pursuing our spiritual mission. Our, our journey in this planet. And thanking them for giving us courage to keep on our developmental path. So let's thank our mentors, our guardian angels, our spiritual 
guides, every, every one of them present here, present in our lives, that support our journey, that have unconditional love, care, patience with us, that support, that supporting us in all moments of our lives. And let's ask them intuition, aperture in our minds and our hearts so that we can listen, hear the message that we need, giving us strength, protection, provision in life. Shall our out teachings that we hear today touch our heart, our souls, our thoughts, and guide us towards the examples that Je Jesus gave us. So it be, may it be, and let's start our, our stay. So as I mentioned, the, the chapter today is fraternity. Uh, and uh, it's a start, it starts by a passage uh, of John chapter 13, verse 35. And it takes place in the Last Supper. Uh, and Jesus, at the moment that, uh, at the passage that Jesus starts washing the, the disciples' feet, right? Uh, and, and Jesus knew that his time has, had come, right? He, he knew that it was kind of the last time he would be able to be with his disciples and talk to them and, and, and commend them. And, uh, and then Jesus, I will read the 34 and 35. Here we'll be focused on the 35, but I will hear the, the two of them so that we can understand the whole, the whole, a little bit of more context. A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another just as I had loved you. You also are to love one another. And then by this, by this, everyone will know that you are my disciples if you love another. Okay? So just kind of how how a little bit of a big picture where uh, the passage comes from. And then we have the chapter where Emmanuel, right, uh, drives the message. Okay, so we will read it together and then we, we discuss parts of it. Since the victory of Constantine, who opened up the doors of political hegemony in the Christian world, we have lived in various situations to demonstrate the condition of the disciples of Jesus on earth. We organized eminent councils, making daring conclusions regarding the nature of the soul and the universe, of life and God. We encouraged devastating wars, which brought misery and terror to those who could not believe the diapason of our faith. We disputed for the divine master's grave, brandishing the deadly sword and, get, and setting the consuming fire. We create the insignias and positions refer to religion, so disturbing the poison and welding the, the dagger. We lit fires and erected scaffolds, invited torments and built prisons from whoever disagreed with our points of view. We stimulate insurrections that operated the clash of brothers against brothers in the name of the Lord, who witnessed on the cross the devotion to the whole humanity. We built palaces and basilics, famous for the sympotaneous and beauty, intending to reverence his memory, forgetting that he did not have a stone to lay his head. 
And we even today, we feel the separation and discord, erecting trenches of incomprehension and hostility, one against the other in the most varied sectors of interpretation. Despite this, the, the word of Christ is indisputable. We will not be the holders of the God news solely, solely through the attitudes linked to the outer world. We need culture that enhances intelligence, justice that sustains the other, the order, material progress that enriches the work, and assemblies that favor this study. Yet, all human movements without the light of love may lose itself in shadows. We will instruct ourselves in the learning of the gospel by cultivating God's kingdom, which begins in the inner life. Hence, let's spread the pure and sweet fraternity, mutually helping one another. The fraternity that works and assists, understands and forgives <laughs> between hum hum humility and service, that ensures the victory of God. Let us practice it wherever we are, keeping in mind the word of the Lord who said clear, by this everyone will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. Okay. So it's a, it's, there's a lot of messages, right, in this, in this, this whole paragraph. Uh, and I, and I selected some, some, some messages so, so that we can reflect, reflect together and, and bring I mean, how we, we translate that message to, to our lives today, right? So we have up there Constantine, right? Constantine uh, is uh, it's one of the em 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 emperor em emperors uh, responsible for the, from the Roman Empire. That was, he was responsible for kind of the formalization of the Christianism in the Roman Empire. Remember that all the the, Christ, the Christians at the time after Jesus left the earth, they have been uh, they have been persecuted. That they, they 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 could not. I mean, they have been killed. They have been really the being target as 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 uh, the ones that I mean it should not I mean, be keep be keeping the. Uh, they have been invited not to, to really uh, stop um, and, and stop speaking on behalf of Jesus in the name of Jesus and and Constantine, of course, he did not do that because he was he was Christian or that he did that because there are so many Christians coming up, raising people, so many people coming and, and becoming Christian and and adhering to the to the the word of Jesus uh, that he was kind of there was there was no way out. He needed to accept that group of people right and then he he was the one institutionalizing the christianism uh in, in the empire uh so he 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 created the kind of the he of shop he official he was the one officializing it and uh, that's why emmanuel bring him as as an important figure to to the history right and since that time, Emmanuel Brings, we organize the councils, right? We, we, we organize Los Concilios in, Port in Portuguese. Uh, we organize the insignias, the, the, the org charts in the, in the church, right? In, for church, the positions. We build temples, we build, I mean, uh, all made in gold. And, right, we, 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 we as we were studying later, we are able to, to I mean, to bring a lot of materiality mm -hmm. to to the to Christianism, right? We we made wars, right? We put fire, we light fire on people that 
uh, or either they were against or had something to say about what the Christianism was was uh, commanding, right? Uh, and these, all of these in the name of God, all of these in the name of Jesus, right? And when, when we go back to, to what, what the, G, Jesus taught us, none of the above <laughs> are, would be applicable, right? So, uh, so I mean, we, we humans, we, we built that. And, and all of us, no? because we were there yeah. at the time. <laughs> we are not here by chance, right? We were the ones doing, I mean, throughout the two, 2,000 years, really contributing to 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 I mean to this history, uh, and then uh, Jesus didn't have did not operate it, none of the above, right? Did and, uh, he, he finished the, the 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 first chapter saying that Jesus didn't have a stone to lay his hand, right? He did not have um, uh, those I mean, any any. But he did not encourage us to, to go in that direction. This is all creation of us, humankind. We create um, uh, the, the, the world that we live in today, okay? Uh, therefore, you know, and then we need, although, I mean, although it's not there for, although we have been building this and doing this for the last 20, uh, 2000 years, uh, Emmanuel reinforces that we still need culture that enhances our intelligence. So we still need to study. We still need to be organized in, 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 in assemblies. We still need to be, I mean, our, in order for our soul to evolve, we need to study, right? We know the law of progress, I mean, uh, tells us that we need to study. We need to intellectually progress. Justice sustains the order. We need some type of justice, some type of law and order to regulate the human kind and, and, and for us to be able to live in society. Uh, we need the material progress. We need the science. We need technology. We need all of this. Uh, and we need to be together, to assembly, to study and make those things uh, life. Everything that the, I mean, the Christianity have, has done the 20 years, but we, we did it in the wrong way, right? That's how we use it was to really, uh, it's, it was really kind of what, what brought us here. Uh, and then he said, what, what we miss, looking back at just the 2,000 years, right? What we miss, it was love. Yeah, love was not present when we did uh, all of this. Uh, so all human movements, they are, they are good. But without love, they might lose itself in the ship. And I think that is what we experienced in the last 2,000 years, right? It was kind of, it was us living in the shadows, right? Uh, and the importance of starting by our inner transformation, and Emmanuel mentions, how we, with the love that is in us, right? How we start the outer transformation. This is the invitation. But today we know that, I mean, if Jesus comes again or changes the external, but if we don't uh, manage to movement to change ourselves, um, we may repeat what we saw for the next 2,000 years, right? So uh, the most important is really what it's inside us. So it's a little bit of just digesting a little bit of the what Emmanuel brings to us, the message, right? And then uh, and then he invites us, hence, let us spread the pure and sweet fraternity, mutually helping each other, each other, uh, one another, right? So by fraternity, what Emmanuel brings to us, it's 
it's work. We know that serving, it's the way to help each other, it's to serve, it's to work, to assist, to help each other, it's to understanding the other, the other mistake. It's forgiving, right? Um, it's being it's being humble and serving. And this will ensure the victory of the good. Right? And then if we go to the Spirit's book, the question uh, 886, um, which is, uh, I mean, it's a, it's a question that we, are, we always bring back, right? What is the true meaning of the word charity as used by Jesus? Huh? Charity, fraternity, um, uh, solidarity, if we could uh, translate a little bit. It's ben benevolence for everyone, indulgence, acceptance towards the imperfections of the others, and forgiving, forgiveness of all offense, offenses. Sorry, offenses. It's difficult, but it's difficult. Right. But this is the invitation, right? Yeah. If we get Emmanuel's definition of fraternity, right? It's work. It's assisting, it's forgiving, it's community, it's serving. Uh, and we look at Emmanuel's in the Spirit's book, definition of translation of, 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 of charity or fraternity is benevolence, is indulgence, is forgiveness. I mean, the map is there. It's, all, it's, it's, it's laid there. It's, all, it, it's it, on us, it's just the invitation of, First of all, our, our inner transformation, how we, we, are, we transform ourselves to walk the talk and, and to, to live our lives by those examples. And with that, we transform what it's outside. We transform the world. Uh, so in a nutshell, <laughs> it's a little bit of the invitation that Emmanuel um, um, brings to us, right? Really kind of how I, in order to write a different history than the one that the last, the two, last 2000 years, so how, how do I change that? It's, it's changing myself, right? it's through my inner transformation. And with that, I will be able to transform the outer world, but without changing and living my life uh, by those manners, not about, by this way, I will not be able, and we'll be keeping on repeating what we have been, what we have been, yeah, experienced, experienced throughout our different incarnations, right? Um, yeah, and and again, um, I love, I mean, I love this, I just brought us to read together, uh, it's uh, Paul, Paul 1 to the Corinthians, it's it's the it's the passage that Paul, I mean, in, in the letter to the Corinthians talks about um, love, right? So what is love for Paul, right? So we saw what's love, what's charity for for Emmanuel, um, Jesus is just love one another uh, for um, for Kardec, and what does Pro Paul brings to us, like? Love is patient, <clears throat> love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it's not proud. It, it does not dishonor other. It's not self-seeking, it's not easily angered. It keeps no records of wrongs. It forgives, right? Love, the, the, love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. Love never fails. Mm -hmm. So if not lo love never fails, if we have love in our hearts and we love, if we love one another, we will not fail. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Right. This is the. It's the, the message, right? Mm -hmm. so, 
it's following Jesus uh, teachings I mean, the way that he loved us and love I mean ask us to love one another um, I think it's the message that I would like to to close our reflection of the day and invite everyone for the veto uh, pass uh, keeping this vibrating energy of love in us uh, keeping uh, the love that Jesus has for every one of us in our mind. Let's again close our, our eyes. Let's connect back to our body. Let's invoke again the presence, the protection of God, uh, of our our Father, Jesus, our our model, our whole model, whole model. Um, letting everything that is in our mind uh, away. Uh, let's let's put everything aside. Let's just kind of straight up our body. Let's have our hands laying our in our uh, legs or knees with the, the palms up and crossing legs and, 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 and arms, taking a deep breath and saying, dear Jesus, we gather here today to ask for your love. Embrace us with your love with your peace, with your, your ser ser serenity. At this moment, a bright stream of light coming from Jesus, coming from the sky, involving each one of us from head to toes. This beautiful light, golden light, falls on the top of our heads, balancing our minds, quieting our thoughts, our emotions, our breathing, moving to towards our heart, our back, our torso going down to our legs in direction of our mother earth, harmonizing our body, our spirit, our soul, and this warm and bright energy surrounding us here. Goes going to our homes, expanding to our neighborhoods, our state, Oregon, our country, our countries. We have many countries, many states here that this life could reach everyone we love every brother and sister in this planet, surrounding everyone and bringing comfort and love to everyone in this planet. May our waters, may our water be with by and may our lives be blessed with the te teachings of Jesus. May patience, may patience, may kindness, may the truth, may the hope. Protect us, be with us. 
and seeing everyone the message that not love never fails. May Jesus' love be with us. Amen. So be. Okay, thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, everyone.